You going to Plymouth? Yeah, you? Yeah. HMS Rally. What? I thought you might be joining the Navy. Joining the Navy? Are you mad? Come on then, look lively. the Royal Navy. I know that, and you know that. But nobody else could be blamed for thinking otherwise. And that's what your part one training is about. Making you look like sailors. Making you behave like sailors. Making you fit and fast. And someone your mother would hardly recognize. Oh, General Salute! Present! Oh. Ah, oh, no, you idiot! You're supposed to be at the prison! Report to me! Move yourself! The prison is the highest salute you can give anybody! When you get aboard ship, the lockers will be about three quarters these size, so, so now you've got to get them six inches by twelve inches so that you get used to it. nicknames is something you're going to need to know, otherwise you're going to seem like Englishmen abroad. Uh, words like clangor, well, I think you all know what clangor means, as most of you have dropped at least one since you've been here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, keep together back there. Now we know the ship is divided into three parts. Part one, forward section, Part two, the midship section, and part three, the after section. All right? Now, that's all right if we just want to float. If we want to move, we've got to know where we're going, haven't we? Is Terry coming over tonight? No, we had a kid inspection. His locker looked like a Chinese laundry. I know they're doing it now. Oh, no, he's not. You're finished, have you? Listen, Brains, at least I know the back end of his ship's not called about. That was a mistake. You're telling me. Dave? If he ever gets to Collingwood next week, they must be really short of radio mechanics. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't seem as though we've been here long enough, does it? It's gone so fast. Yes. <clears throat> well, you can have it all again if you like, but uh, one more week's long enough for me. Can't be any worse, can it?
look different. You know that, don't you? I knew Reg could see you now. He couldn't come? No, well, uh, he's a bit busy, really. Anyway, what happens now, now you've finished here? Well, we go to a place called Collingwood. Where's that? It's near Portsmouth. Bob's coming with me. You know, I wrote and told you about him. Oh, yes. And the other one, um, David, is his name? Oh, yeah. Well, David's doing his second part here, you see. He's, uh, he's a seaman. You have changed. And you like it? Yes, I do, Mum. Well, I don't really have time to think about not liking it, you know. And at Collingwood, we'll have to work even harder. You know, really concentrate. <laughs>